Hello Gemini, welcome to your mid-August reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Don't forget to check out my Vimeo channel. The link is below in the descriptions box and there you'll find the extended version of this reading. So let's get along with your oracle cards here, Gemini. From the House of Night, you've pulled the card of the Moon. Now this one is all about <coughs> revealing what is hidden. So I think something may be coming to light here, if not now, then very soon in your life. Something that has previously been, been kept secret or, or has eluded you. <clears throat> and from the Angel's Guidance deck, you've pulled the, the card of Release and Surrender. Now this card is all about emotionally letting go of a person or situation. Also avoiding power struggles and releasing the need to control. So very much surrendering control of something that uh, that may be coming, I, f I feel that something may be coming to light here. And overall from the Ganesha deck you've pulled the card of surrender. Now with this one what I feel for you Gemini is that you'll have a chance for rest and recovery after facing some kind of challenge, a stressful situation is what I'm picking up. So let's see where this goes for you, Gemini. Right in the center of your reading, you have the Six of Swords. So there's something that you have left. You've left a situation, you have moved on already, I feel. Let's, let's get another card. And with the Nine of Swords in reverse, there, there might be some shame. I'm picking this up as uh, feelings of guilt, uncertainty about the fact that you, you've moved on, Gemini. Let's get another card. And with the Eight of Wands in reverse, Gemini, it seems like you're wanting things to slow down. I, I get this as very much a, a, a sign here that, that you've moved on from a situation but I, I feel that it may have happened too quickly and now that there's regret around this I feel you want to slow things down. And this can be you Gemini or it can, the energies can go vice versa so if this is not you it could be your partner. Let's have a quick look in the past. The Wheel of Fortune. So in the past there was something, there was a fortunate turn of events. Things were moving in a positive way. Something happened here that was, uh, it looked like it was promising. So, so let's see what this Wheel of Fortune. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Okay, we've got the Hierophant. So it could be in relation to a Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. It may have been a fortunate turn of events here around perhaps a commitment <coughs> or the chance for commitment here in the past. Gemini is what I'm picking up. Let's get another card. And with the uh, Seven of Wands, Gemini, you, you may have had your guard up. So I'm picking this up as a chance, a chance in the past for a commitment. But I feel for you, Gemini, you had very much a, a sense here of being defensive, not letting people in, being very closed off is what I'm picking up for you. You, you were not open to th this possibility in the past. Let's have a look in your present energy. <clears throat> now you have the King of Cups. Now I, I don't feel that this is you, I feel that this may be someone around you. Could be a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Can be male or female. But I get here that th they may also have uh, water in their chart. So uh, th there's someone around you. Uh, uh, this I'm picking them up as caring. There, there is someone here who is, is, is a caring person, compassionate, kind, 
giving. But with the Eight of Swords in reverse, I feel that there was a release here, a surrender of this person in the past. It, it, I get that it's someone you've walked away from, Gemini, that's what I'm picking up. There's very much a sense of freedom here around this individual, letting them go. With temperance in reverse, it, it seems to be there's some excessiveness around this. How I feel with this is that there may have been some reckless kind of behaviour here in, in letting this person go. I'm picking it up as uh, something here that, that was risky. Some risky kind of behaviour. There's a lack of balance. There's some... I, I picked this up as not... <clears throat> some kind of harmful... harmful reaction. It, it could potentially be uh, anything like uh, excessiveness when it comes to addictions, whatever that means for you. It could be substance, it, it could be any kind of addiction, anything that is excessive. It could even be uh, spending too much money, that, that kind of thing. But, but there is release here around this King of Cups. Let's have a look in your future energy. Now, with the Page of Swords in reverse, <clears throat> what I pick up here is that there is some, again, I pick it up as someone who's irresponsible. There's a, there's a very immature energy I'm getting, Gemini, here for you. You seem to act very recklessly without a lot of thought. That, that's, that's the energy I'm picking up for you. There's a very, there's a lot of immaturity around your communication. Let's get another card. Yeah, with the Fool in Reverse, again I get that reckless kind of energy, not paying attention to consequences, doing things very abruptly without thinking things through and for you there's also an energy around this page of swords of, of communicating somewhat uh, impractically or not telling the truth and and i do pick up the moon card here and and, and think well what are you hiding or what 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 is being kept hidden here I feel that it's something in your behaviour, Gemini. Let's get another card on that Fool in Reverse. <clears throat> and with the Magician in Reverse, again, I, I get some maliciousness here in communications. I feel that you are quite uh, skilled. You, you, you're very, uh, very good at, at, uh, at something here, but you use your powers for... I don't want to say, I'll say for, for a, in bad ways, risky ways, I feel, risky ways. You don't use your, your powers for the right reasons, I feel. That, that's what I'm picking up for you, Gemini. And remember, it can be you or this could be someone around you. It can go vice versa, but I'm picking it up as some kind of risky, tricky behavior here it, it seems th this calls to me of someone who is not doing something for the greater good that's what i'm picking up uh, it seems to be a very selfish kind of act whatever is being done here in this future energy let's have a look at your advice or your best path to follow <coughs> Now, you're coming up as the Empress here, Gemini. And remember, it can go vice versa. So this is you or someone around you. 
But here I feel the, the emphasis is very much on taking care of yourself, your own needs, your own desires. Let's get another card. It's fertility. It's all about having what you need, uh, creating things for yourself, uh, having, the, a, uh, having what you want around you. And with justice in reverse as, as advice here, or your best path to follow, what I'm picking up is that there may have been some unfair treatment in the past, either to you or that was done by you. And I picked this up very much as a card of karma here. It, it seems to be a warning that there may be karma in the future. If you take some some kind of action here, some kind of risky, not well thought out action for your own benefit is what I'm picking up. For you, I feel there's a real need to be very careful about what kind of action you take in the future because it could turn around and, and bite you. That's what I'm getting. Very much a feeling here of karma. Let's get another card. And we have death in reverse. So uh, it's in relation to something that hasn't been let go of. It may be a type of behavior. It may be a person as well here, Gemini. But for you, as advice, it's saying that you do need to release some kind of attachment here that is not serving you. What I get right in the center for you is that you have let something go. It may be this King of Cups, but now there's regret around this, some shame, some guilt. You're wanting to slow things down. The, the way you're doing it though, what I'm getting is not the not the right way. There seems to be some something unethical is what I'm picking up for you, Gemini. And it needs to be released. This behavior as well as this person I feel. Let's have a look in your environment. <clears throat> now Gemini, we've got the devil in reverse. Now I feel that this is the energy of the person that you are thinking about here that you have released due to some kind of excessive excessiveness here behavior but with their energy coming up in the with the devil in reverse it, it seems to be there was some kind of attachment with you at some point it may have been quite obsessive addictive kind of quality you may have been a third party there was definitely some kind of attraction here but it wasn't the right kind of attraction it was very sensual but now I'm picking them up as healing from this or, or getting getting over the addictive nature of this relationship let's get another card and with the four of cups in reverse that they may have had some depression some sadness here around this I'm picking it up as a, an obsession addiction but I get now that there is improvement in their condition it may have been a uh, it may have been a mild depression here something here that was holding them back keeping them bound in a, uh, a toxic situation there's a energy here of <clears throat> I, I feel it, it's really about making good changes in their life is what I feel yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Ma making good changes in their life, getting over this past addiction. I feel for them there's a uh, releasing, a release is, is what I'm picking up. Let's get another card. 
And with the Ace of Wands, they're getting their vitality back. They're getting their... They, they may have felt quite low in the past. Maybe after you released them is what I'm picking up. But I get for them now that they're starting to improve. They're starting to see the, the good things in life. They're coming out of a period of withdrawal, of emotional emotional withdrawal and I feel that they're starting to get their energy back here their vitality very much a feeling here of revitalization around this person let's have a look in the hopes and fears what are you hoping for here Gemini you have the hanged man now here I feel that you're hoping for a, a change a change in perspective Let's get another card. And with the Judgment card in reverse, it's around a decision that was made. I feel this decision to walk away or leave in the past. But there's regret now, I feel, about the decision that was made. There's a change in perspective when it comes to this decision in the past. And, and there's very much a feeling here of making a bad choice or a bad decision. And I feel that you're hoping to have a change, of, a change in perspective of, of perhaps this other person when it comes to this decision that was made. Now let's have a look in the outcome. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now, as your energy here, there's insecurity and instability around finances. There's a feeling with this card of, uh, perhaps, again, I, I get the possibility here of not having what you need. It could be now that, that you're looking more towards something that is more stable in your life. But I do get here an energy of not not having what you need in terms of security and stability around you, Gemini. We have the Emperor in reverse. So Gemini, I feel as your energy here, there's a lack of control when it comes to getting what you want with financial security and stability. I feel it's around another person, someone that you had hoped would grant, would give you the opportunity here for a more stable kind of relationship or environment to, uh, to live in. But I feel that with this Emperor in Reverse, there's a, a feeling around you of insecurity and a lack of confidence around achieving this. Let's get one more card and with this eight of cups i get the sense here that there's a need to walk away uh, it, it's a feeling here that something that you hoped for you hoped it would work out but there's a sense that you've realized that it's not going to work out the way you hoped and now you have a uh, i feel there's there's escape here that there's leaving there's abandonment of a plan it may have been around finances because for you, the, the main concern I have here, Gemini, is that in the future there seems to be some kind of malicious act here. It's not well thought out. It's, it's a lot of riskiness here, uh, some trickery as well with this magician in reverse. It, it seems to be something that you're hoping for, but the, the thing that I'm picking up with your advice here, Gemini, is that you need to let something go because it may come back and bite you. I picked this up as karma around you, Gemini. If, if you do something here that, that is uh, an injustice, that, that, is not, that is not on the up and up. I feel I feel it's going to result in in an injustice, and and it may come back and and and, uh, and haunt you in the future. Around you, I see 
this person starting to heal get their power back here maybe some after some unfair treatment from you so i'm going to leave this reading here gemini and i'm going to continue in the extended version so please join me there if this is resonating with you i'll be pulling out a lot more cards and we'll find out what you're going to do here if you're going to uh, try and get this person back whether they're going to come back to you or, or well we'll see we'll see what happens so um i look forward to the reading and the link is below in the descriptions box so please join me there and if not uh, then i will speak to you again very soon so i wish you all the best bye gemini hello everyone it's michelle from gypsy insights i'm an intuitive reader i receive the energies from the cards as i read them i'm here to provide guidance through tarot and i hope that you enjoy the readings my general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone please check your sun moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you and remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa. These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I look forward to reading for you personally. Please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.